What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you 20 of my personal favorite iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks. Some of the tweaks on this list I covered in previous videos, but there are some new tweaks to this. These are my personal favorites right now. As always, all of the tweaks as well as their repos will be down below in the description. Look out for a top 50 free tweaks video as well coming soon too. With that being said guys, let's get into the video. At this point, you have to know this tweak. I just can't seem to not put it in the top tweaks video. Cylinder gives you page to page transitions. I say that all the time. This is a good tweak, check it out. Something else I talked about in detail as well is Dolphin iOS. I love this app tweak. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but you need a jailbreak to use it. It's awesome. You can play GameCube and Wii games. I also made a full detailed video about Dolphin iOS. So if you want to check that out, it's in the cards or down below in the description. Auto Unlock X allows you to unlock your device via Face ID without swiping up. Bar Emoji makes it so that you can get out your most frequently used emojis easier. Pokebox is a cool tweak that basically styles your notifications to look like Pokemon text effects. It looks really cool and combined with Color Me Notifs, it makes for a great looking control center. Snowboard is a theming engine that allows you to customize the look of your device. Some themes I've been using are Iris, Splendor, and iDapt Light and Dark. Bottom Toolbar Light is a cool control center tweak that has two different styles. It has this style and it also has another style similar to Prism. There's also shortcuts for apps in the control center and you can tap on a shortcut and get redirected to an app. All in all, it's a pretty cool tweak. Dock Spring is really cool and it lets you swipe up from your dock and elegantly respring your device. Hide Bar 10 completely hides the bottom home bar system wide on iOS. Volume Percent shows you the volume percentage of your device. In regular iOS, if you want to delete multiple words, you have to hold the delete button down until it deletes all of them. With delete cut, simply hold down the shift button and you'll see that the delete button becomes red. Then you can tap it and you can now delete multiple words at a time without having to wait. Top down puts up and down arrows in the settings page. So that way you can access your device's settings page easier. Dot o Plus gives you colored dots as badges for notifications on apps. There's two different Dotto styles. This looks pretty cool. Did you text the wrong person by accident? Well, Send Delay can let you cancel the message before it's sent to that person. Dismiss Progress allows you to install a tweak and return to Cydia instead of restarting your springboard so that way you can get back to whatever you were doing. Accent allows you to have a different colored accent on different UI elements on your device. When I saw this tweak, I knew it was something I was going to have to talk about. This is interesting because it randomly rotates the icons on your springboard. It makes it look kind of interesting and kind of unique, and I think it's definitely an interesting tweak to say the least. Tap Tap Lock allows you to lock your device when tapping on. Quit All allows you to quickly and easily quit all of your apps just by tapping the clear button in the app switcher. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and so much for supporting. I very much appreciate it. I'm going to have a additional top 50 iOS 13 free jailbreak tweaks video out in a little bit. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel to check that out because you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you like this video. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on. That way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.